Hey everyone, today's look is using the green quad from the new Makeup Art Cosmetics Collection <laughs> for MAC. Um, it's this one called Photorealism. It's the one that's green. I really love this quad. It's uh, very nice. I was kind of not that excited about it, um, but I like the way this look turned out. I kind of added a little spin and made it kind of smoky on the top, but then added a really bright pop of color on the bottom um, using a an eyeliner from this collection called Color Matters, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, very bright, very, very bright green. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. It's a very, I think, nice look for fall, just because, um, you know, I like smoky looks. I like darker looks, but I also like color. I like to add little bright hints of color without going all out, and I think this is a really perfect way to do that. Um, so if you guys want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Alright, so before you get started, as always, apply a product that prevents creasing. I like the benefit, FYI. You can use whatever you want, though, but that's just the one that I'm kind of addicted to. I love it. Um, then, to really get these colors to show up like they look in here, um, you might think, well, I'll add white or something like that. Well, these colors are kind of more um, frosted, and uh, these two greens are kind of more on the light side, but I really want to focus on, like, their pretty iridescence. Um, I'm going to do a black base. You can use any kind of black that you want. Um, I'm using Shark Skin Shade Stick. If you have the black ground paint pot, that works exactly the same. This is a really soft paint, or soft shade stick, so I'm just applying it directly onto my eye. Alright, so lightly cover your lid and then take a brush. Uh, this is a 217. This works really great for blending out um, any kind of cream products or um, even for applying paint pots and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of going over all of it and pulling that color into the crease. I didn't want to really apply the color straight to the crease because shade sticks do tend to crease even if you've got something underneath them. So, just kind of pulling a thin layer of that up into the crease. And blending it so that it looks really, really uh, soft around the edges. Alright, so now when I put down that color, it's really, really going to bring it out. I'm going to start with this shade right here. Um, I don't know what it's called. Fresh Approach, I think. And I'm going to use that on a flat brush. And you see how when you apply it over that green, it really looks exactly the color it is here. Um, but the iridescence just really, really shows up. And I'm actually going to pat that all over the green, or all over the black. You don't have to go all the way out to the edge. I did, just almost, but you don't really have to focus this on the outer edge. You mostly want it focused in the middle and toward the center. Now this color down here, um, what is it, Image Maker, I believe, looks pretty close to the one that I just used. This is the lightest shade in the um, quad. I'm going to use that in a minute. These two are kind of similar. This one has more of a frost to it. This one's kind of more muted. It's really pretty. Um, but it just really doesn't do a whole lot. I'm kind of just putting a little bit of that right here in this area between the center and um, the outer the outer edge. It really doesn't do too much. You don't even have to use that color. Uh, then I'm going to take this lightest shade called uh, whoa, what's it called? Called photorealism. It's very, very pretty. And I'm going to apply that with just a small brush right into that inner corner, right above the tear duct, and kind of sweep it upward. Alright, then for my outer, kind of outer edge of my eye and up into the crease a little bit, I'm going to use this darkest shade, and it's called Gray Range. I'm putting that on, this is a Sigma SS219 brush. This works really great for your crease and for that outer V area because it's kind of more rounded and fluffy. More so than the MAC one, the MAC 219. I'm just applying that just to my outer V area, and you can kind of see it's deepening that color. And then just kind of sweep it into the crease, just into like the outer half maybe. Then I'm going to blend out that outer line. You can see it's very harsh compared to this side. You just want to go around that outer edge of color using any kind of blending brush. I like this one. It's the SS224 by Sigma and it blends really, really nicely. Alright, for my brow highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of gesso, which I don't think I would use 
this color in the quad, this lightest color to highlight on my brow, just because all the colors on the lid are so frosted. Um, I think that would be a bit much. And gesso is just a matte white color. Let's sit right here. Or not. Let's sit right here. Okay, now for this lower area, um, right beneath my lower lash line. This is the part of the look that kind of makes it bright, kind of makes it pop. I'm using this Technical Liner in Color Matters. You can see it's this bright green one. And I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line. You really want to get kind of a thick line so that it really, really shows up. You want to go all the way in right here to this tear duct area and kind of focus it there too. This is just like um, if you have Pharaoh Paint Pot from, I think it was the McQueen collection a few years ago. It's exactly the same. Alright, so hopefully you can kind of see that that made a really bright base under there. Now that it's kind of softened up, going to apply it to my waterline just because we want this entire lower area to kind of pop and you really want to kind of blend it into your um, lower lashes so that there's not a gap. Right, now we're going to take that lightest shade this uh, what the heck is it called? Photorealism right there and this is the shade I applied to my inner corners I'm just going to put it lightly over that green that I applied under there it's just going to kind of brighten it up and enhance it a little bit. For my liner, I'm going to use a black liquid. This is the Urban Decay Liquid Liner in Perversion. Apply a thin line to your upper lash line only. Wing it out just a little bit. Then for your mascara, um, I'm going to use the, this is the Mju or whatever fiber wig. Um, I've been using it for the past few days and I actually really like it. It's very volumizing um, and it has those little fibers that kind of adds uh, not only fullness but it adds a little bit of length if you do it correctly. With this I like to kind of wiggle it at the roots with these that have the fibers so that you get some volume. And then, for the tip, you can kind of re-dip it so that you get some more fibers on there. And you kind of just dab it against the, um, the ends of your lashes. And you can even kind of go um, behind them, and it kind of deposits little, more little fibers, too. So it's really, really good stuff. Um, for your lower lashes, I really want this green to really stand out. So you don't even have to define them very much with a mascara. And if you do, you just really want to stick with that outer edge. Be very careful not to touch it against any of the green. Just a little bit on the That's middle. That's it. If you come back, I'm going to show you what I used on the rest of my face to complete the look. Alright, so for the rest, is this, in? no. What my mirror was like, oh, I'm taking up half of it. Okay, so for the rest of my face, um, when I do green eyes, it's a color that I don't wear too often. And if I do kind of a brighter green as I did with this. I kind of, you know, stuck with a kind of smokier look on top and then added that really bright pop of color on the bottom. Um, if I do something like that, I really kind of like to use more natural peachy shades on the rest of my face. Not so much, um, like pinks or anything like that, uh, pink toned things. Now fall, I think, is going to be all about, um, the use of color on the lips and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't really like that with green. That's just on me. If you like that, that's fine. Um, but, a de but to definitely keep with some color at the same time, I used Love Nectar, which is a luster glass. It's a really gorgeous peachy pink shade that has gold flecks to it. And it's really, really pretty. Um, and I think that it looks great with green. Uh, for my cheeks, I used Sun Bask, which is right here. You can use any kind of peachy blush, any kind of blush that you want. Um, but I just kind of applied that right here um, and kind of worked it up into this area of my cheeks. Not so much concentrating it here, but I kind of concentrated it right here. Uh, so it kind of looked a little more contoured. 
without actually adding contour. So to me this is a really, really um, fun look for fall. I actually really love greens, but I just never really wear them that much. But um, I'm really loving this palette. I'm going to do something with the purple quad soon. So until next time, I hope all of you are doing well. And thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for being so supportive. Um, I really, really, as I've said several times, appreciate every single one of you guys. And that's from the heart. So um, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.